Good evening, everybody. My name is Sam Smith. How was your day? I just saw The Great Gatsby today, and it was a wonderful movie. I highly recommend you see it. I saw it with Paula, my girlfriend, out in Gaithersburg, and we had a blast seeing The Great Gatsby. It was a great addition to the original movie and the original book. Anyways, I'm here to talk about fitness, and I'm here to help. My original broadcast television on YouTube has been about the Dropkick Murphys and Dropkick Finnegan and going out in style and like Punkalay Ireland. I was originally giving speeches and songs and music reviews about YouTube. That was my original program that I was running on YouTube. I'm putting that program on hold now. Because my specialty really is to be a fitness coach, and I'm here to help. I really want to help you with fitness, nutrition, and staying in shape, and staying healthy. That's why I post these videos as I work out. And since I got home at 11 o'clock, I had a very short and quick workout. I did a little bit of lifting weights and my legs with the leg extension and like with some stretches and some crunches and some push-ups and then I just went out and ran I ran half a mile and then came back so I was still in shape today because I still work out even though I didn't work out earlier today which I would usually do what I do is I work out and then I post videos on YouTube this workout tonight was awesome I had a very awesome late night workout I would hide I would highly encourage you to do the same. Have a highly awesome workout. Any time of day, come and play. It should always be the first priority to work out because that will motivate you on your tasks. That you can work out and shower and you can get your chores done and everything. More importantly, you'll feel more healthy around your eating habits when you work out. And you'll feel more healthy and more motivated to sweep the floor, mop the floor, clean up, do laundry, clear off color, clear off clutter, yes, and you'll feel more motivated to be productive at work, and you'll feel more happy as well. You'll live a happier, healthy lifestyle when you work out. Now, I'll share more information, because to be more helpful, I like to run, of course. I love running marathons. I also love lifting weights, playing ice hockey, kayaking, rock climbing, playing kickball, playing touch football. I also love helping people get in shape and get healthy, especially autistic adults and children. They're in big need of help. Autistic adults and children have a difference from other people whereas they can't really think quickly about their planning and it's like they have a mental breakdown somehow that sometimes leads to depression they're so deep in thought they're very bright there's a lot of thoughts going on in their mind a lot of memories and everything and it just so happens that when you're high functioning you can see things differently and that's why a lot of autistic people they just don't exercise and I would highly encourage them all to do so because it strengthens their brain when they exercise and it makes things go better and I would highly encourage everyone to exercise because it makes things go better Yay! I would also like to give a shout out first to some of my friends. Mike Hickey, you can get in shape. Yay! Joe Howe, you can get in shape. Yay! Mark Rothfield, you can get in shape. Yay! 
Kim Hickey. You can get in shape. Yay! Walter Boydston. You can get in shape. Yay! Tim Walker. You can get in shape. Yay! Paula Miller. You're getting in shape. And the more you keep progressing, the better it gets with the more activities you do. Yay! My dad, you can get in shape. Yay! My mom, you can get in shape. Yay! Brian Berry, you can get in shape. Yay! Sharon Newhart, you can get in shape. Yay! Everyone in the world, you can get in shape. Yay! Oh yeah, everyone in the world can get in shape. I'm so happy to be speaking about fitness in front of a live audience around the world. It makes me feel so happy to have a job that I love right at home. I have an office job during the day where I would work on the computer by doing like filing and I do like data entry like I input data into the computer on Microsoft Access and into the CARES database for clients and I restack records in the appropriate places in the record room for which I have complete control over and I input tads into the CARES database and I do mailroom work and like I make sure that the archive boxes are complete with all the records in the archive boxes and I would restack the archive boxes on the shelves and I make sure that everything is clean and neat around the record room and my jurisdiction of the Office of Health and Human Services at Aging and Disability. And of course I love fitness. That's why I'm looking for a career in personal training to get certified. And currently, I'm also an online fitness coach. I work out, and I encourage people to work out and stay fit, stay healthy, eat right, and look at the hours on their calendar, because there's always time to work out when you get home from work, even if it's during your sleep. Sometimes you can't sleep. You can't sleep. You have to get out of bed. Your wife is all over you in bed that you can't get out. Oh boy, that's so stressful. So you can work out. Yay! You can't mow the lawn because you can't get out of your couch. So you can work out. Yay! You can't go to dinner because you're so stressed out. Yay! You can work out. You can't watch TV because the football team is losing. Yay! You can work out. You can't go to the movies because you don't like this guy right now. Yay! You can work out. You can't go to the airport because your flight got canceled and your trip is on hold until Tuesday. Yay! You can work out. You're on a leave of absence, and you still get the money, but you're frustrated that you can't work right now. Yeah, you can work out. You have injuries in your back, legs, and ankle, and it's so hard for you to move your body because you're worried that you might get more injured. Yeah, you can work out. There's still a way you could work out because you're still able to flex parts of your body. Yay! You can work out and stay healthy. Anything you do, even if it's just a 30 minute walk, is still a workout. I will tell you this. 
If you have any questions about workouts you can do for if you have pain, soreness, or injuries in your calves, legs, or core muscles, or your shoulders, or your arms, or maybe if you have a brain injury, you can come to me. Some people can't work out for those reasons, but they can. They can work out in those circumstances. They just need help from a fitness coach to figure out what kind of workouts are appropriate for them under those kind of conditions. And I am a fitness coach, so you can come to me for help on that. You can also come to me for help if you want to figure out an exercise routine or program. And it can be any activity you want to do, even if it's an outdoor activity, even if it's kayaking. Like, there's endurance activities that include, for example, walking and running and biking. And there's, of course, strength training activities to include, like, muscle building, bodybuilding, yoga, body flexibility. There's strength training, powerlifting, speed training, plyometric training. There's muscle building in activities like cardio kickboxing, cardio boot camp, total body conditioning, jazzercise, Latin dance class. There's hip hop dance class. There's so many different dance classes that all the women love and Men, I'd encourage you to join those classes too because you'll have a blast with those women. Yay! And you'll get fit with them as well. And there's swimming as well. I can help you with the swimming. I can help you with anything. What's your question? You got questions? I'm your man. And I am your fitness coach. I totally look forward to being your fitness coach which I already am, I look forward to answering your questions more directly so I can be your direct fitness coach and I look forward to helping you with good nutrition, good fitness, and good healthy habits so you can live a healthier, happier lifestyle longer before you know it and your life will be good. It might take a while if you're on a weight loss program to like trim down, but you can still make inches of progress when trimming down when you watch these videos because they will encourage you about how a little bit of exercise can make you trim down a little. And when you trim down a little, it means that sometimes you're not bothered by how heavy the weight is and that's the goal because you don't want to be bothered by how heavy the weight is that's the least you want to feel you will feel tension in the content of being overweight or obese but try to make sure that you're exercising a little bit to take care of yourself with your own personal workouts or I could give you some suggestions on workouts Try to make sure you're doing something physically active first because you want your body to feel comfortable when moving around and most importantly, your upper body with your stomach. The legs are important too because you need to be able to walk faster on your lunch hour around work and there's a lot of flexibility that goes into the legs if you ever want to become a runner or you want your legs to be more flexible, you can come to me. I'm of course stretching my legs right now and I can help you with that because I just had a hard workout. And I'm going to switch to my other leg. And notice how working out can make you feel very happy. You can see in this video how I'm very enthusiastic and very peaceful and it's making me feel motivated to share fitness with the joy and happiness of other people. I love having 
people to share fitness lives with. It's good for the academic process of so many people who are obese and need to lose weight. And it's especially good for people who are autistic, people who have heart disease, people who have blood pressure difficulties, seizures, cardiac arrest, leukemia, breast cancer, prostate cancer, AIDS, HIV, diabetes, any health condition. My primary specialty is to help people who are autistic. As I am on the autistic spectrum with my Asperger's syndrome. So I'd say I would be autism type 1 and high functioning would be type 2. So I'm about high functioning type 1 since I have Asperger's syndrome and since I'm able to help people who are more high functioning. My first client that I helped on the autistic spectrum was Rory Doyle. Rory Doyle is a member of this special hockey club called the Montgomery Cheetahs. They play out in Rockville. As I am a member of the Washington Ice Dogs, I have also been Rory's primary fitness coach on the ice. I take him out to Whedon Ice Rink, Kevin John Ice Rink, and we would go over some hockey fundamentals and his hockey skills really improved on the ice. He has been the highlight of the Cheetahs ever since I have been working with him. And he really admires me a lot and so does his mom and dad. I like that family a lot and I really enjoyed working with him. I still do enjoy working with him on or off the ice. As of right now, I am working for everyone. My primary focus is helping people who are autistic, but my pride of helping everyone in any category, from any background, is never going to go away. I am here to help. I really want to help you. I want to help those who are autistic and beyond to stay in shape stay healthy and be physically active and you could do the same i invite you to join my joy for fitness in any way you want to do it all you got to do is stop by my office and i look forward to working with you thank you for your time and attention this is sam smith i hope to see you back